Okay, so three, two, one, go. Yeah, we want to hold shift because it just, you know, annihilates that turret. And I don't have to worry about, you know, mashing at the right speed or anything like that. I just go. Uh, running makes so much of a difference in this that it's not even funny. I mean, it is... Oh my god, oh my god, I jumped over that thing. I've never been able to do that before. That was 21 seconds first segment. That is, uh, that is huge. It's a, my best, my PB for that first segment, uh, before hand was 25 or so. Uh, and I'm just shattering my record with this run button. If I had known this existed, it would have been huge. Get that stupid turret down up there. we go. That turret's a little bit inconsistent, um... Just keep running. Always be running. But yeah, there's a bunch of controls that are not listed on the game's control screen, which doesn't surprise me that this game's a shovel war piece of crap. Um... Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, 103 second stage. Oh, yeah, 103 second stage. That, that's... that's something. Yeah, it also makes you go higher on bounce pads when you're running. Significantly higher. Which is why, um... Yeah, like that... I just skipped a whole bunch of stuff there. Um... And having the auto-fire really helps. If you have the graphics settings all the way up, having auto-fire helps a lot because, um... The shots don't get stuck as easily as they do on... Oh my god, yeah, that's a 138, uh... For that second segment there. So I'm gonna sure I'm running... Constantly firing, and who cares if I get that bad damage boost there? Oh yeah, this is huge. My best time uh, for this segment here, about when I hit that bounce pad there, is about was about 2:15. Now I'm at 2:05. So yeah, this is this is a significant game changer. Um, had I known about this earlier, I would have, you know, I, I would have completely, you know, just changed everything. So the auto fire definitely helps. The run button definitely helps because you're, you know, you're running, you're going fast, you're jumping higher, you're jumping further, and I think you don't cling to walls while you're running. Oh, maybe you do. Okay, so you just, you just cling to walls while you're running, but that's okay because running is just fast. So, yep, that's that's rock solid. Uh, first jump on the stage. That is the the most solid jump I've gotten. Um, and this auto fire, which I did not know about, is actually a different button than the fire button. Um, I'm holding down A instead of D. Uh, and the the auto fire is listed strangely enough as just KKK in uh in the control screen, uh, the Unity control screen. So here I'm gonna take run off for a second, because I'm not used to making this cutscene skip without it. And, okay, so shooting constantly actually slows you down, so I don't want to be doing that too, too much. Oh, ah, we missed, we missed the cutscene skip, but that's okay, I mean, that cutscene skip is not that much of a difference. Um, but that's what I was looking for initially when I saw that control screen was, hey, I wonder if there's a button to skip cutscenes, and there isn't. But, you know, it's the thought that counts. So, that auto fire is not something we want to do. I think that pushes you back a little bit, so this won't be a definitive run or anything, but it'll definitely be a WR, because I've just gotten, you know, I, I just found a whole new world of speed tech in this game, uh, which consists of holding shift, but still, I mean, holding shift is still speed tech, right? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so much faster. Basically, I was walking the entire game. Oops, chuck, missed that. That's all right though, because even with even with all these screw ups, I'm getting you know. Oh my god! Oh my god! I just skipped half that level with that. Oh wow! This is this is insane. I thought I was. It's almost like I'm hacking, but I'm not. <laughs> it's just the run button. It's coded into the game. It's listed in the control screen, the Unity one, but not in, in game. I had no idea it existed. So. Yeah, so we'll just take that and run with it. That's bad. 
think it also increases the amount of, amount of damage boost, but not much. Okay, cool. Okay, this is this is still annoying, even with the uh, cause the, it's constantly firing at you. Ah, damn it, we'll take the death there. Uh, that that one turret is extremely annoying. You have to shoot it. There we go. Okay, I'm not used to I'm used to just bypassing it. Whoa. Oh wow, yeah, that's that's a nice bypass there. That's something I couldn't do before. So even with that with that death, which you know was unintentional, um Make sure I bounce up here and grab the ammo box. Or not. Actually, no, screw the ammo box. We don't need the ammo box. The ammo box is doing matter anyway. Oh my god, I'm so that's so much faster. It's so much faster. Uh, there we go. And actually, running seems to allow the wall jump to do something, which is kind of nice. Um, and these are all things I wish the game had explained somewhere, but it doesn't. Doing that, you piece of crap. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're we're probably almost a minute ahead of where we would be. Oh yeah, that just let me skip a major, uh, you know, a lot of running. A lot of these running parts are just you know much faster holding down shift. And got that skip there. I'm still not. The reason I'm kind of screwing up here is I'm not used to the faster speed. I'm used to doing it, you know, slowly as possible. But, oops, don't want that. Oh, that's a very solid elevator right there. What's up here? Start firing and. There we go. Oh yeah, this is this is so much faster. I'm so glad I found this before my NASA run, because now I actually have a chance at setting a world record at NASA pre-stream. But you know. There we go, get that damage boost there. Didn't really intend to get it, but that's okay. I can skip that bounce pad entirely because I'm running so quickly. Oh, that's the fastest. That's definitely the fastest I've ever done that stage. I should really set up splits for this game, but it was since it was so short, I figured there's no real point in setting up splits. Um, oh yeah, made that bounce pad first. You know, right off the bat, first jump. Didn't have to jump over the uh, the enemy down there to get that. So that's pretty nice. So now I know what all those inconsistent glitches were. That was me pressing the run button by accident, I think. Probably out of force of habit. I've played a lot of games where shift is sprint. And, uh, I think everybody else has two. Between your, oh, oh, that air, that freaking, oh, yeah, that's some nice air. That is some nice air right there. Here I have to get this bounce pad so I can't skip that. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I gotta practice this with the faster speed because I am not, not at all used to this speed. Let's get that cutscene skip, which isn't really... Hard to do considering all you have to do is just not talk to the old man. Oh yeah, right into the, the load zone. And we're already at the last stage. We are at least a minute ahead of where I was last time. Um uh, before I was on my world record run for this. So yeah, even with all these mistakes, I mean this run could be improved. There's room for improvement. Um but I say, oh yeah, this makes a world of difference. So this, turn, this actually turns this into a decent speed game, because I mean, at this point, you've actually got, you know, I was walking the entire time. Oops. Messed that up. That's alright though. Because, you know, I'm already. Yeah, the, 937 is usually where I'd be starting this level uh, before, because, you know, I just didn't have that run button. So here's the second to last cutscene. Unskippable. Nothing I can do. The trigger just takes up this entire area. So. I might take a death here, because my health is kind of low. Um, 
don't want to be ceiling surfing there because that's just bad. Oh, there we go. But this time he was right. Oh my! Oh yeah, we're just under a minute ahead of my my WR here. Time, time. Uh, that was like 10:10, but I'll say 10:11:73. That's almost a full minute ahead. That's 43 seconds ahead of my best split. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm gonna uh, cut cut the stream and submit this. Uh, thanks.